It's a catch-22. Property values are on the rise across the state, and homeowners have either cashed in on that or they are sitting on an ever-increasing investment. On the flip side, though, recent property value assessments have some of those same homeowners worried about how much they'll owe when that property tax bill comes home. Those with the power to do something about it, our elected lawmakers, well, they've been worried about it too, although it took them until the final days of the legislative session to address it. They ended up passing a complicated law that increases homeowners exemptions to $120,000. Still, many were hoping for a lot more help as home prices continue to rise. Let's look at Ada County, where the median home price, assuming it hasn't gone up in the last day or so or last week or so, sits at more than a half million dollars right now. So Ada County officials say they want to do something the legislators couldn't. As Joe Paris explains, that may soon come in the form of millions of dollars of an actual tax cut. As budgets are being reviewed and set for the 2022 fiscal year, it appears there could be good news for residents in Ada County. For the first time since the 80s, I proposed a actual tax cut. Ada County Clerk Phil McGrain also serves as the chief budgeting officer for the county, working closely to oversee the county's finances and budgeting process. After reviewing the collection of agency budgets, McGrain is now proposing an $8 million cut towards property taxes. Uh, property taxes is a major issue here in Ada County, especially with assessment notices just having gone out. And so the board is acutely aware and looking at that. Uh, I've definitely heard from constituents and I'm very well aware. Despite having to deal with the reality of a pandemic, McGrain says for a variety of reasons, financially the county is in great shape to the point where they can make meaningful cuts. We are in a really unique position as a county this year to be able to provide property tax relief. And a lot of it has to do with how circumstances shifted as a result of the pandemic. Um, it's kind of like the state of Idaho, if you've been watching, they ended with a surplus. Their sales tax revenues are coming in way better than they expected or projected. We're in the same boat as a county. I mean, it's really an overlap of the two entities. McGrain says his proposal does not come at the expense of sacrificing important budget items. Our economy in terms of housing is just booming. And so we're fighting against that constantly, trying to provide relief, but also trying to make sure we provide sufficient services. And one of the great things in my proposal is it doesn't just cut $8 million for property tax relief. We still maintain a level of service that we see today. Property tax relief has been a discussion for months in Idaho. Many Idahoans have spoken out saying they believe the state legislature should have done more to help the situation. We don't feel that the legislation that happened this year adequately did anything for the taxpayers, especially with the valuations we're seeing. And so hopefully the county can do its small part in adding some relief to the community. As you might expect, McGrain says the proposal is receiving positive reviews so far. That's what we're hearing. I think people are just really pleased from the feedback we've been getting that we're really trying, we're doing our part, and that's all they ask of their officials is saying, hey, are we listening? Do we hear the challenges that people are facing in the community? As long as we're responding, we certainly have an obligation to make sure we're providing adequate services in the county. But I can say taxpayers in Ada County have definitely been heard. The commission has been listening. I've been listening. And so we're all doing our part to try and provide as much relief as possible. The county budgeting process is currently looking at proposals for fiscal year 2022 before making decisions later this summer. McGrain says he is confident his proposed cut will see success. I, I really do. I think we're going to have some thoughtful discussions about just what does this mean? What are the impacts, especially long-term effects, if we make these decisions? But I think right now the commissioners have been very focused on property taxes. I've heard it from all three of them at differing points. And so I think there's a really high probability that we will see some form of a tax cut out of this budget this year. All right, those discussions are going to continue with budget deliberations beginning this week. Final budgets for next fiscal year will be approved in about a month or so. The budget is, or as submitted that is, is about $284 million with public safety and judicial services making up about 62% of that number.